Hello, my name is Rebecca and this is Assistive Technology on the Spot. This is a honeybee switch. It's a proximity or sometimes referred to as a sensor switch, which means that unlike a typical mechanical switch, the honeybee will respond to very subtle movements without any extra force needed to be applied to the switch in order to activate it. So why would you choose this type of switch? Sometimes this would be a solution for a student who has very little ability to physically move, or sometimes just that additional step of adding force to a mechanical switch can trigger a whole body movement pattern, motor overflow, or they can get stuck in a position. Uh, maybe they have to really work up a lot of momentum in order to create enough strength to push down on that mechanical switch. So a proximity switch, unlike a mechanical switch, only requires that you move towards the switch. You don't have to actually apply any pressure to the switch in order to activate it. There are different types of proximity switches. The honeybee is called a line of sight switch, which means that there's a red sensor, sensor window right here that emits an infrared beam. When something like a hand or a head breaks the beam, the switch is triggered. Because the honeybee is a line of sight switch, it would not work for mounting under a tray, uh, even if it's clear plexiglass. This switch does require a battery, which can be accessed on the back underneath this yellow silicone case. You just slide the back piece off, and you can see there's a CR2032 coin battery. Depending on how you use the switch, it should last between 6 and 18 months. The on switch is located on the right side underneath the yellow silicone case. When it powers up, it's automatically set for the one inch range. There are four zone of sensitivity ranges, touch, one inch, three inch, and six inch. You can choose the distance best for your, your student or you can also continue to increase the distance uh, in order to help them learn a broader range of movement. For example, you could start at the six inch range of movement and then move them all the way towards touch so they have to move more in order to activate the switch. Each range can be selected by using the up and down arrows here. Keep in mind that every time you turn on this switch or change the range, the switch automatically calibrates. However, due to changes in light and temperature over time, you might have effects to the sensitivity. So in order to recalibrate manually, you would just press this cal button here. Whenever you do that, make sure that you're keeping the area in front of this sensor box clear. There are different models of this device. One model of this device will always beep when activated and deactivated. However, this model has to be set to beep by holding down any button when turning it on. So let's give that a try. I'm going to turn this on while holding this down arrow. So now whenever this switch is activated or deactivated, we should hear a beep. So now when it's activated and you hear the beep, that gives the student some auditory feedback. This can be helpful when you're just starting to use this switch so that the student is aware that it has been triggered. However, it's usually best to fade the beeping so that the feedback comes from the activity itself. Remember the goal is not just to hit the switch. The switch is just a means of access. So once your student or child understands that, you probably don't need the beep anymore. One really nice feature about this switch is the yellow silicone case can be taken off and flipped over and put on the front of the device. This way you can prevent any accidental touching of the buttons and it keeps this sensor window open. As far as mounting goes, because it's so small and light, just using a Velcro coin will probably do the trick. However, if you need something more substantial, Thingiverse does have a custom 3D printable mount available for the Honeybee that works with any standard camera style mount. 
Finally, this switch uses a 1 8 inch jack and can be used with any switch accessible toy, communication device, or computer interface. So let's give that a try. Don't forget to follow the link in the description to our website where you'll find a comprehensive list of implementation ideas and strategies for the Honeybee switch and all switches. Thank you very much. This is Rebecca for Assistive Technology on the Spot.